what's up guys my name is the here and welcome back to another straight to the point on cut raw photoshop tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how to download and use my skin tone lot in photoshop i've been wanting to do this for so long and then i think this is the perfect opportunity for me to do it so without further ado let's jump straight into photoshop and start editing but before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button as well to like this video i promise this video is going to be a simple and a straight to the point one so stick and stay let's get into the video i'm going to leave the link to this lot in the description below so that you can click on it and then check it out so we open our browser when you open it this is how it's going to appear right so this is a skin tone lot that we are going to download and then use today so we're going to click on it like this and it's going to open this for you right so you're going to click on buy now and it's going to open this forms for you to fill so what you're going to do is you're going to enter your name your email and then your phone number right here and this is the price you're going to click on pay now you're going to wait for it to load all right so once it's finished loading this is how it's going to appear so you're going to choose between paying with mobile money or you're going to use your card so in this video we're going to use the card so you press on the card like this and you're going to fill out your card details over here and then just press on pay so after you finish filling your payment details and you press buy now this is the page that is going to open for you so you're just going to press on download file and then it's going to get it downloaded for you All right so when you finish we're going to go into photoshop now and then i'm going to show you how to use it all right, so in Photoshop, we're going to come down to this icon, the new adjustment layer icon, and then we're going to select color lookup. Then over here, we're going to come here and then click on load 3D LUT. It's going to open the folder that we've saved the LUT in. It's When you download it, it comes in a zipped folder, so you have to unpack it, right? So mine is saved here as LUT files. So you're going to locate that one, and then we're going to press on the first one to see how it looks like and we're gonna select load over here yes so this is the first one this is how it's looking as you can see the skin tone has changed let me hide this one and then let's check the before and after so this is before without the skin tone lot and this is after this is how it's looking so this is the first one let's check the other one the other ones as well so we're gonna double click here and then repeat the same process again click on load 3d lats and then we're going to select the second one that is this one load this is how the second one is also looking let's check the before and after so this is the before and this is the after all right let's go through the other ones as well so we're going to double click here select here load 3d lats Click on the third one that is according to skin pop 3. We're gonna click on load. Yes, this is how this is also looking. It's before and then the after. It makes work really simple and straight to the point. I took my time to do this, so I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it as well. As for me, I really enjoy using it. So this is more like the tail and orange kind of look. So let's check the other two as well. We'll double click. Click here, look through the lats. We select the fourth one. I think I think there's a fourth one. So we're gonna select the feet one and load. So this is how the feet one is also looking like. So let's zoom in. Let's check the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. As you can see, the skin tone has changed, it's looking much better than before just like that so if you think the effect is too much on your image you're just gonna come here to the opacity and then just lower it a little bit like this before and after furthermore if um maybe that your image might, might be different and you would like to add some changes to it maybe the exposure won't be too much or it will be too low so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here new adjustment layer icon you can select curve 
and then you're just gonna increase the exposure like this or you can decrease it to how you like your image to look like as simple as that I'm gonna go back so this is today's tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you learned anything from this tutorial I would like you to hit the subscribe button and then if you haven't subscribed yet and then like yeah Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.